Right, so today I'm talking about CSS variables and how we can access and control those through JavaScript. I'm also going to do a little bit about how we can access current computed styles and modify those too, but the primary focus of this is just about being able to access these variables that we set inside of our CSS files. I've defined four variables, yellow, green, blue, and red, so I'll be able to get to those and change those values from the JavaScript. All right, let's jump into the JavaScript here. And I'm waiting for the load event. I could wait for DOM content loaded or it could be some other event. I just wanted to wait for that before running this code. Now we've got the body object. This is the same as going document dot query selector body. It's just pointing to the body element. And I'm pointing to that just because inside of here, I do have some styles on body, just so I could show those. I've only got these three that are defined in my CSS, but I'm going to be able to find out what all the default properties are as well as just these three. So with body selected, we're going to use the window get computed style method. Now this is built right in. This is part of the window object. Uh, you can write it with or without the window in front of it, window dot get computed style. We're passing in the element that we want, in this case body. This could be any element. So you could do query selector anything at all or get element by ID anything and pass some element in. What you get back here is a CSS style declaration object. And that's what I'm writing out here. If we look inside the browser, Here's my web page being loaded. And this one object right here, body styles, is a CSS style declaration object. Now, it looks a lot like an array, but it is an object. If I were to change this and just say uh, log body styles, so the, the object itself, we can see here what we get back is an object. There's curly braces here. All the keys, though, are just the numbers zero and up. So it's, it's very much like an array, but every one of these properties inside of here is just one of the CSS properties that are available. Now the numbers aren't necessarily going to be the same across all the browsers, but you can find properties that you're looking for. So for example, color is number 79. So property 79 inside of here is color. If I were to come inside of here, body styles, and I wanted to access the property 79, what I'm going to get back is color. That's all it is. It's just that string color. It tells me one of the properties. Now you'd think, okay, well, if I could just do get computed styles, um, and then I'd look at item 79, that's going to give me a property. And then I can use that as part of the style, but that's not going to work. Um, just to show you what I mean, if I were to take the body element and go to its style property and inside of here, I want to get color or we can use body styles 79 by putting color inside there, I get blank back. I'm not getting the actual value from my CSS file. I only get this if I've gone into my JavaScript and I've actually done body.style.color equals something. Otherwise it shows up as just blank. It's undefined. If I want to actually get the value of this property, this isn't going to work. What we have to do is we have to use the method get property value. So let's get our background from the body. So body BG, that's going to be my variable. And we're going to call get computed style. There's the element that we want to get and then get property value. And we just provide what's the name of the property. So I can write color here, or I could have used body style 79. That was one of the properties, but I know the one that I want. So I can just write color or I could write background color because this is body BG. So that would make more sense. And then inside of here, let's write this out in the console. So log body BG. And there we are. And you'll find that in the browsers, it always comes back regardless of how the property is set in the CSS. Remember, these are the computed styles. So it's always going to come back here as an RGB value. Now I can overwrite this we can change one of those properties 
But I can't do it this way. I can't do uh, get computed style body dot style or body dot style this way. I could I could say color equals, but a better way to approach it to dynamically update this would be to say body dot style set property, and then we can say I'm going to change the color to let's say cornflower blue. There we are. Now my text inside the body, the default color, this is cornflower blue. So I've changed that dynamic property here using set property. And that actually changes the things inside this computed style object as well. If I were to do this, log that out and color is the one that we're getting here. The color is the one that we set. There we go. This is the new value. So it was this, now it's this. And that's what the set property is doing. Okay, so that's the basics. That's get computed style, get property value, uh, and set property. We can use this exact same syntax for working with the CSS variables. So we're looking in our CSS file here, the properties the CSS variables are set inside of the root element. So this is the element that we need to use to retrieve those. If these variables were set on something else, maybe there's an overriding of one of those properties inside of a, a child element. Well, we could target the child element to do this as well. I'm just going to use the root as my example. And we're going to say we want to get computed style. And here, document, query selector, root. So we're getting the root element. If I wanted to put that in another variable, I could do that just to break this up into steps. Maybe that's going to be easier for you to read. We don't have to do it this way, just doing this to make it a little bit simpler to read. Okay, so the root element, what is the property I want to get? We want to get property value for one of these. So let's say the yellow. And we use the whole thing with the hyphens in front of it as part of the name. We say, this is the one that I want. Not computer style, it's computed style. There we go. And there is our yellow value. So we use get computed style root. That gives us the CSS de style declaration object. From that, we can retrieve the value of this variable yellow. That's what we're writing out here. You want to do one of the other ones? Let's do, let's do green. So we want the variable that's called green. And there we are, there's the yellow and there's the green. Now, as I was saying before, the CSS style declaration object, this thing that we're getting from get computed style, this is a live object. This thing dynamically will update. So right now I've got get computed style root get property value. Let's put get computed style into its own um, variable. And then we can use that variable, get computed style, because we're pointing at that object. Now, if I want to update something, we're going to say that we want to update root, which is our, our root element right here, root.style.set property. And the one that I want to change, let's change the green to a different shade of green. You'll see here I'm using hex colors to update it, even though the default um, 
that you retrieve is in RGBs, but I'm setting it to a hex value. And then if I was to log out again, what is the current value of green from this object, which is the one that we were retrieving up here. There it is. So there's the old value and here's the new updated one. So it is a live object. If you do call set property, you are going to be updating the computed style object that you had before. So this will continue to give you live results as you change these properties. So if you wanted to hang on to the green, the old green and the new green value, well, here green, this is the old one. Then we can get a new one. We'll just take this. And we'll write both out. So there's the old green and the new green. We're not changing those variables, but there's the old and there's the new. Okay, and that's it. That's all you have to do to be able to edit, access, change, update any of your CSS variables. You just have to know what element that it's sitting on and the name of the variable. You can retrieve the value. You can update the value. And if you've got a computed style object, it's going to be a live object and it will give you the latest version of any one of these variables that you've set. All right. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I answer as many as I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.